everybody and welcome back to another Dollar Tree haul with me, Margo. This is not a very big Dollar Tree haul, but there are some good new items in here that I'm pretty excited about. So, and I also have a, well, it's not even my idea. I got an idea from Thrifty Tiffany and I'll tell you guys about it when I get to that part. All right, let's get started. So I did pick up these, oops. Uh, Fago orange sodas. These have been at Dollar Tree for a while now, but they're getting harder and harder to find. I do like one of these every once in a while. So I picked that up, and that's the only flavor that I actually like from that brand that they've had at Dollar Tree. I've tried the other ones, and I just wasn't too happy about them. All right, and then I picked up some more uh, Valentine's Day candy for... Um, the hubby and my son. So I picked up these Twizzlers uh, Pull and Peel. These ones are for DJ. And the Best Buy date and nutritional facts on the back. Best Buy is by September 2023. And this is a 4.2 ounce cherry flavored. Then for my husband, I got these Reese's Peanut Butter Hearts snack size. There are four in here. And best by date on this is June 2023. And let me give you the nutritional facts back here. I do like Reese's and when I buy them, I like to, for instance, Valentine's Day, I would pick up the heart ones as soon as they go out in the stores. That way I know they're fresh and they're just so much better when they're fresh. All right, and then I did pick these up for um, my son. And this is the Haribo Sweet and Sour Hearts. And do I have a Best Buy date on these? Nope, I don't see a Best Buy date, but here's the nutritional facts. And then I picked up these for my son. He, Both him and I like these. Sour Patch Kids, Sour Hearts. These ones are black raspberry. We did try these, and they are good, of course. And he, the Best Buy date on these are October 14, 2023. And here's the nutritional facts on those. All right, and then they had these little triangle cheese packs. Um, these were out right before Christmas. And the expiration date on these, all of these are for August 2023. These are now down to 25 cents. And they are two ounces each. There was jalapeno, and there is cheddar. So for 25 cents, this is great to throw in your lunch, like with some crackers and nuts or something. But I bought two cheddar and two jalapeno, and I paid a dollar for all four. So that was good. So I had never seen these before, and I know this brand is sold at Dollar Tree all the time, Assured kind it's a triple blade razor and you get five razors and these are the eco it says rubber grip lubricating stainless steel blade but i believe that this part right here i believe is um biodegradable okay margo use some scissors Pull these out. Okay, so it's kind of, yeah, it's like a plastic. So I think those are the biodegradables. I don't know. I'll give them a try, though. We'll see how they work. All right, so I had purchased these before, but I wanted more uh, wood slice. I actually want to, and I saw um, the crafty DIY guy, Jamie. He was showing something in his house, and I saw that he took a round mirror and framed it with these pieces, and that's exactly what I want to do. So, thank you, Jamie. All right, in the crafter square section, they had these signs here that are, I want to say, five by 
16 or 4 by 16 but it's like you know a blank slate they had this color and then they had the the one that this this is like a coffee brown or something i didn't like it anyways the other color but i did pick up this one they had three different ones the coffee brown one and then this one this one's pretty cool I think if you put like, you know those metal letters that say welcome or thankful or even if you like spray painted them, put them on top of here, maybe in, embellished with some flowers or something, that would look pretty cool. Welcome, any of those. And then I saw, I was happy to find these. I had seen people hauling these, but they are the round, these are 10 inch round uh, wood bead wreaths. So they have this color. And Jenny Mowen counted them. There's 50-something beads on each. So there was this color in the square. And then they had the bead, the black beads in the circles. And then they had, uh, I think it was like a whitewash in the square bead. I didn't pick those up. But I did pick up two of each of these. My sister had asked me to pick those up and... Um, after I picked them up and I said, well, I picked up two of each, one for me, one for mom. If mom doesn't want them, you can have them. And if mom wants them, I'll pick some up for you next time I see them. All right. So then from Beauty Guru, these, this is a natural eyelash enhanced serum. So this past week at work, this has been a topic, not this product, but the eyelash enhanced serum. The girls at work told me that they have been using vitamin E oil and one of them, her sister had been using it for a while and her eyelashes have definitely like gotten longer. So I want to do that as well. But then I saw this and they are buying the empty cartridges with the wand so they could put their vitamin E oil in there and do their eyelashes. And I guaranteed everything they bought was not $1.25. But so I do want to try this natural eyelash uh, enhanced serum and it comes with the brush applicator. So I was very excited to see these. I never even saw this before in Dollar Tree. They might have had it and I just didn't notice it. But we're talking, oh, so this is with castor oil. Okay. So what they're using is vitamin E. See the eyelashes? So I'm definitely going to take a picture, a profile picture of my eyelashes without anything on them. Start this regimen and check in maybe, I don't know, two weeks. And I will see if it works. And for $1.25, I'll let the girls at work know if it works. And they'll be saving money by doing it that way. So we'll see. We'll see. I do have high hopes, though, because Beauty Guru, I really like their products. I really do. So, all right. So in the section of Jot, these were the gold shape paper clips. These ones are heart-shaped, and it's actually like a rose gold. These are all eight packs. These are so cute. I'm going to be bringing these to work. I use paper clips. Um, gold shape. So they're all gold shape paper clips. So these ones are the arrows. This is really nice. I like these, especially like, I don't know, if you have to have a signed document, you slide this on to where they have to sign it. Great idea. These kind of remind me of like a barrette. <laughs> But these are the star ones so all right and these are craft decals i didn't realize i picked up two of the same so they're double-sided this one is blessed family and thankful and both sides and i believe yes the name is separate you pull that off separate or not the name the letters like this is one sticker this is one sticker um the flowers are one sticker so that's really cool and then the, this one thankful is a sticker and then all these individual ones are stickers so pretty cool so there was this style which i didn't realize i picked up two but that's okay and then this one gather and home and love with the feathers but again love is nope each individual letter you can pull off and then each individual feather and then same with the home this one is all in one and then these pieces are all separate so 
Pretty cool. I like those. All right. I had seen someone hauling these and I was happy, happy, happy to find them. So uh, one of my friends, Jen, had asked me to get those. They're fake leather notebooks. I think there was three, like a black, a brown, and like a goldish color. So I sent her a package and I so forgot to put those in there. But anyways, I will be putting these. These ones are mine, but I'm gonna send her one. These look like faux leather, like the colors. They don't feel faux leather though. But anyway, so I want to send these with those notepads. And let me see how this writes. Oh, these write nice. Okay, they write nice. And they write in black. I believe, yes, they're all in black. So black ink, nice pens, different. So this would actually look good in, you know, like a basket with those uh, notebooks like I was talking about. So picked up two of those. Alrighty, and I found these square shaped wire nets. I was happy about these. And these are like 13 and a half inches by 13 and a half inches. And these are actually, I believe they're supposed to be for like organizing. They have shelves you could buy to hook onto here and baskets, I believe. Um, I did not buy it for that reason. I bought six of these, and what I want to do is make a cube out of these. And I saw, I think it was Bargain Bethany make these. Um, not out of these ones, but something similar. If you put all four of these, you can make a cube out of it. And then I want to wrap it in, um, like, tinsel for Christmas time. And it's going to look like a gift box. And I want to put that outside. But I had seen her make something. I mean, I had me seen her make that, but with something like these. And when I saw these, I'm like, oh, I'm still going to use those. All right, guys. So the last thing in this haul is these three-piece, what are they calling these? Stackable three-tier planters. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do with these. And thank you, Thrifty Tiffany. She's the one that... Um, came up with this idea and I just thought it was a great idea so I'm going to do it so this is how they these are I think are intended for like herbs and stuff look how cute that is so I'm actually going to glue these together and then I'm going to spray paint them then I'm going to use these on a desk for like crayons pencils um scissors this would be great on a child's desk as well. You know, markers, whatever. But thank you, Thrifty Tiffany. She came up with that idea, and I'm running with it. So <laughs> I did pick up two. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the same thing with both, but I'm definitely making one of those. All right, guys. So that is it for this haul. <laughs> and let me get you some prices. So for this haul, I paid... $39.50, and that's before tax. And had I gone to Walmart, Amazon, Target, uh, anywhere outside of Dollar Tree, I would have paid $101.11. And that's a big difference of $61.61. And then again, that's why I love Dollar Tree. All right, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Love you, bye.